Hello everyone, this is Vishnu and you are watching Tech Tutorial video. In my last Excel tutorial, we have seen how to add numbers in Excel. Now in this tutorial, we will see some more basic Excel formulas, which are subtract, divide and multiply. Here I already have an Excel with some numbers to subtract, divide and multiply. These operations in Excel are very simple but as usual takes part in complex calculation. So it is important that you understand how this works in Excel. Let's start with subtract. Here we will be talking about two different types of formulas. One is direct, another is by reference. Direct is an approach where we type different numbers directly into the cell with operators in between. This is rarely used, maybe only when we use Excel as a quick calculator to check results of an operation. For example, if we want to know the result of 20 minus 5 minus 2, this is how we do it. We go to a cell, use a equals to sign to indicate that I'm going to put a formula over here. Then I write 20 minus and as usual like minus is used for subtraction then the second number 5 then minus 2 and then hit enter and we got the result now by reference is a widely used approach where we do not type operands or the number in the cell we type the reference of the cell where the actual number is kept Let's have a look at this. Let's go to the cell where we want to display the result. Put equals to sign. Then click on the first number. So C5 is the reference of our first number. Then minus and then click on the second number. And D5 is the reference of our second number minus and 2 so e5 is the reference of our third number now hit enter and we will have the same result as we have seen for the direct approach the advantage of using reference over direct is that when the values of operands changes the result based on the formula changes automatically. We do not have to touch the formula again. Let me show you what I am talking about. Suppose the number 1 changed from 20 to 25. Now you can see that the result of formula by reference has changed from 13 to 18 but the direct is still showing 13. So this is why formula by reference is used mostly. Let's have a quick look at the next operation which is division. For division, forward slash is used as operator. So if we want to use the direct approach, we go to the cell where we want the result. We say equals to, then first number, forward slash, second number, forward slash third number and enter so this is how we get the result if we want to try the formula by reference then go to the field where we want the result type equals to select the first number forward slash second number forward slash select the third number and hit enter so now let's see how to multiply numbers for multiplication asterisk is used as the operator in Excel so if we want to use the direct approach go to the cell let's say equals 20 asterisk 5 asterisk 2 and hit enter and we have the result now if we want to use a formula by reference we'll go here we'll say equals 
20 asterisk 5 asterisk 2 and hit enter and we have the same result one last thing I want to talk here is that here in Excel formula also the general mathematical rules like order of operation is followed where there are more than two operands and operators involved for example suppose we have three numbers like 20 5 2 and we write a formula which is C8 plus D8 into E8 what I mean to say is that the result is 30 not 50 because even though the addition operation appears first on the formula the multiplication will take precedence based on order of operation so if you are expecting the result to be 50 then you have to use parenthesis like this equals to then start parenthesis then the second number close it star the third number and now we will get the result as 50 so this is all about today's tutorial let me know if you like or dislike if you have any comments or suggestion use the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for more such tutorial thank you for watching Take care. Bye-bye.